Check out the links in my description for more information, for more resources. Uh, check out the podcasts. Check out the Facebook groups. You know, just check out the links. There's a lot of great stuff there. Uh, comment, rate, subscribe, share, like, dislike, you know, whatever you want to do. This is my Boma at the ready fireball deck. One copy of the leader. Four Oceanus. Four Shimmer Figure of Majesty. Four Goku and I for an eye. Four Goku Resolve. Renewed. Four Kaoken Goku. Four SS Vegeta Evolved Offensive. Four Vegeta at the ready. Four Goku Evolved Offensive. Four Goku at the ready. Four Videl Miraculous Aid. Four Napa Super Combo. Four Testing That Position. Four Baby Juvenile Parasite. Four King Piccolo Giant Force. And one Pan Time Patrol Maiden. Alright, so the deck is, you know, Fireball because, you know, we have the King Piccolo Unison for its uh, minus four active main ability to pay four red X. So you pay as much as you want for the X and you deal that much damage if your leader is red, which it is. So in order to use that, you'll need to have um, two copies of this card and at least eight energy because you'll use four um, cards. Uh, you'll use uh, no, you'll yeah, use four energy to play this card. Um, if you have the ability to awaken your leader, awaken your leader to untap two energy, so you have six energy again, and then attach a second copy of. Uh, you don't need. Uh, never mind. You don't need a second copy of because you're already at four markers. Um, so then you well, minus the four markers, and then pay six. Right, four reds and then two of any color. To do two damage, and that's if you're going to do two damage. If you want to do more than that, then that's where the extra copy comes in, so you can give it a marker so you can pay less. So you could pay three to play this card, right? Because you could play pay a minimum of three to play this, then attach the second copy so it has four markers, and then you'll be able to do three damage um, with eight energy. Um, so that's. Um, so that's you know how to use that. Um, then of course we got the Videl engine, you know where we can use Videl to recycle our you know Saiyans like our Kaioken Goku, so we can keep board wiping our opponent or do his active main. We we pay two red energy, discard him to the drop in order to uh, target a battle card, ignoring barrier and minus twenty five K for it. So that's our barrier hate right there for any problematic situation where we need that effect. Being able to reuse Goku Resolve Renewed, because he can, you know, negate an attack, you can play him, and then he becomes a, a blocker, so it would be a 10k blocker because of Boma's effect, because she makes all the Red Saiyans um, blockers. And then, of course, like I said, you can recycle this, so you can always use it to negate an attack, block an attack, negate an attack, block an attack, right? So you can stop potentially two attacks with him. Um, then, of course, we got a Goku and I for an eye. Um, this uh, lets us burn our opponent for one damage um, once per turn when they play a counter skill, like a counter attack or a counter play, or even a counter counter. So it greatly increases our chances of finishing our opponent off, or at least weaken them enough that we can end them out. We do have a Z deck that I'll get to later. Um, so we have. Um, Oceanus for floodgate the uh, defense. You know, like, you can negate an attack, it's a blocker, and then if your opponent attacks, they have to mill four cards, so that's a floodgate ability. Testing opposition can negate an attack and make a token that's a blocker, so you could potentially stop two attacks with it. And of course, you could play it for free if you have five or less life by taking a life. So those are our main defensive cards. A Napa, you know, super combo, right? Use it to combo to defend yourself, but. Um, it plays itself after you combo with it, so it hit the field since it's a red saying it'll become a blocker, so you can potentially block another attack. So you can potentially stop two attacks, um, or defend against two attacks with just one Napa. So that's how we use them, obviously, we use them defensively. But you could be offensive, use them to combo on our turn to deal some damage, um, and then have them as a blocker to defend. So there's free synergy there with the leader. Um, we have Shenron Figure of Majesty. This um, adds as you know, adds a draw engine to the deck. 
as well as the leader already draws with its active main abilities. Um, and we, we like to use this for two, two, two abilities, the ability to untap two energies or bring back a battle card to cost or less. And the main targets for this will be our Videls. So we can use the Videls over and over again to recycle. Of course, the Videls will become a blocker. So you'll have something to block with. Plus, you'll recycle some cards like your uh, Goku uh, Resolve Renewed. So pretty much you're just going to always have the ability to defend. Um, the ability to untap two energy is always useful, especially if you're going to combine it to do the whole fireball thing. Especially if you have this in play and then you haven't awakened your leader yet. Once you do the whole playing your Piccolo, right? Let's say you have eight energy, you pay four to play it. So that way it has four markers. Then you use Shadowrun Figure Majesty to untap two energy. You use your leader's awakening ability to untap two energy. So you have uh, four, you know, the four energy backs. So you have eight energy in total. And then you can pay four red, four of anything, and do four damage. So, so if you set it up right, by the time you get to turn, uh, you know, to turn eight, sh you should be able to do four damage if you have a uh, Shenron Figure Majesty and you haven't awakened your leader yet. You can do four damage. So that's the synergy there. Those cards, uh, when you use uh, Shenron Figure Majesty, you have that five, five or more cards in your draw for a sparking effect, right? Um, you draw a card and then use the effect. So you'll draw a card for using his ability. You draw a card for your leader ability. Um, when you bring back Videl, you'll get a card from the drop. So it's kind of like drawing. So you should have at least three extra cards in your hand um, using those cards in synergy. But the other thing you can do with Shenron Figure Majesty, of course, is bring back the Vegeta at the ready or Goku at the ready and get their effects off. Goku lets you look at the top five cards of your deck and then add up to one red Saiyan card with an energy cost of four or less among them and add it to your hand. And all the, the Saiyans in here um, are red. And it doesn't say mono red, it says red, which means you can grab Nappa, which is multicolor red. Right? So you can grab Nappa, you can grab any of your three cost or less Saiyans. So that's pretty nice the ability to search and get you know any key cards you might need, any key uh, pieces, especially having multiple Goku eye for an eye in play at the same time is useful because they're all triggered. So once your opponent plays one counter attack to negate an attack, right? All your Goku eye for an eye will trigger and deal multiple damage that way. So keep that in mind. Multiples of him in play means multiple damage. So a lot of burn in this, this deck, a lot of burn. And of course, they all become blockers, so you'll get to block, burn, so you keep your defenses up and burning your opponent left and right. Like I say, Goku lets you search. He'll become a blocker, of course. You'll be able to use him to block, and you'll be able to search something else. So that's a plus right there. Vegeta lets you grab a uh, Goku or Vegeta or a Trunks Future that's red with this energy cost of three and the EX Evolve uh, keyword um, from your drop to your hand. And, the, and we and we have the three drop uh, Evolve offensive uh, Vegeta and the three drop. Evolve offensive Goku, and you can grab either one of them with the Vegeta uh, at the ready. Um, so that way, when you bring back Vegeta with Shenron, for example, um, he'll become a block, of course, because of Boma, and then he can grab either the three drop Vegeta or the three drop Goku. Um, but the main one you would like to get is the Vegeta because you can EX Evolve for one red energy. This Vegeta on top of the one drop. And when you do that, you will draw a card for EX Evolving. So you'll get a, you'll get a plus. So just playing this is going to plus you getting this. Then you play this on top of this, which will get you another draw. Um, so you'll be getting cards. So it's a nice little reusable draw engine itself because you just use him to grab him and then use him to evolve. Then you, you know, use him to block. Right, which means him and the one drop will be in the drop. Use Shenron to draw, bring back the Vegeta. The Vegeta gets you back the Vegeta three drop. The three drop you play it on top of the one drop, drawing on cards. So you'll be drawing two cards every turn, and you have a 19k, um, you know, blocker, which has a higher chance of you know, surviving uh, when you block with it, especially when you block and combo because you're drawing cards. So you could always combo to try to keep them in play longer. Um, but there's synergy there. 
Um, this Vegeta that if has the auto that uh, when this card attacks, you can place this to the drop at the end of your turn to add a three drop Goku um, or Trunks with the you know this red that's energy cost of three with the EX evolved. So of course you can grab the three drop Goku if need be, and that's if you attack with it, if you attack with it, you can grab the three drop and you can you have the three drop for combo power. So there's synergy there. Another thing is they have the active main that if you have one one of the three drop uh, Goku's in play with the you know obviously the EX evolved uh, keyword, you can pay one red energy to to play them. So so if you already have this Vegeta in play, this Goku can be played for just one red energy. So very cheap, cost effective uh, blockers that are 19 Ks, which is always good to have. Um, so there's benefit there. Um, there is some synergy with these with your um, your extra deck. I mean your, 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 your Z deck. A baby will be one of your main unit. You know your main units that you'll be playing because it'll help you power up your leader by by giving it one K power. Um, so it just makes it easier to defend. Um, plus one ability to draw a card and choose one of your points by cards and place it under this card. Um, in order for this to become a twenty K, so you can swing with it. So this is be your main attacking units in. And then, of course, the ability for it to protect itself by d detaching with uh, one of the cards under it so it doesn't, you know, lose markers. That way, it can keep gaining markers and stay on the field longer. Um, but the main thing is, like, it's not enough to just block attacks. You want to get rid of whatever your opponent was attacking with. So, um, that if you want to control the board, so you use this, obviously, to control the board, you'll be negating a lot. And then there'll be times where you either board wipe or you just get rid of something that's problematic. Or Kai can Goku, so there's synergy there to control the board. And a lot of defensive capabilities, obviously. And then we got the burn win cons and stuff like that. And Pan is just for more uh, def you know, floodgate defense. That's a nice 4k beater um, that you can use to beat your opponent with. And let's go to the Z deck. Um, find out the, the number is um, seven, so you can only have up to seven cards in your Z deck. So we got two Rush Attack Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, two SS Gogeta facing Fierce Foes, one um, Ultra Instinct Goku Unthinking Onslaught, one Super Saiyan 4 Goku defend Defender of Life, and then one Gohan at the Ready. Now Gohan at the Ready is just a you know a cheap you know one one energy, um, one Z energy um, card. From what I've seen so far, is that the way you 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 do the whole Z energy thing is you send the card from your Z energy zone to the drop when you're paying for for playing the card. So you pay one red energy and then you drop one of your Z cards, Z energies to play this. So you're always guaranteed to put the battle cards that you combo into your drop eventually. Then all you have to do is just get them back from the drop, combo them again to get them back into the Z zone, right? And then and then use them for energy again. Just keep cycling, right? So this already is a blocker, which so makes it a really good card to have in your Z zone in any red deck. But um, and then this also has the ability to give um, battle cards that have energy cost of three um, that are red saints evolve that have evolved um, blocker. Uh, so it synergizes with the with the three drop Goku and Vegeta, but this deck this leader already gives them blockers, so that effect is uh, not that useful. But it's auto at the end of your turn, choose up to one of your Red Saiyan cards with Evolve and switch it to active mode. So this will help you just by getting it out there. Will help you, um, you know, tap untap, um, you know, your Goku's and Vegeta's, especially. Uh, Goku has the effect that when this card attacks, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards and it gets minus 15k power for the turn. So you attack with this, you know, to get the effect to minus your opponent's battle card and, uh, and uh, ideally KO it. Maybe your opponent's, yeah, one of your opponent's battle cards. And then, you know, of course, you know, your attack should hit something, either another battle card or your opponent's lead, right? And then with Gohan at the end of your turn, switch him back to attack mode, right? Active mode so that we can block. So it just gives you the ability to do the defensive stance, attack and defend. So it's 
That's why I have it there mainly for that and the fact that it's a cheap battle card. So there's already a blocker, even if you know the leader doesn't give a blocker. But the leader does, so it doesn't matter, right? But so it's a cheap blocker, so that's part of why it's there. Um this Goku is is well has 20k deflect, double strike, so it's you know good. It can be used as a finisher, right? A win con. Um then it has the auto when this card is played, place up to one red, up, uh, place up to one Saiyan card from your drop under this card, and this card gains barrier for the turn. So it'll be a barrier block with a flag, double strike, word, right? That kind of stuff. Additionally, if your opponent has four or more life, um, deal one damage to them. So, so if your opponent is at four, this will get them down to three, which is nice. So. Obviously, you want to get, you want to be able to play this at some point. Ideally, you want to play this when your opponent's at four, so that we can get them down to three. So it gets them, so it makes it easier to, um, ideally get them down to, to um, to two or one, and then finish them off with some of the other card effects. But this can come in clutch, especially if you notice they're running out of time, you know, and you can use this to just. Get your opponent from four to one, uh, four to three, and let's say you have four life, then you know time runs out, you win in time. So you can use this to win in time, just by making sure that you have at least one life more than your opponent. Um, and of course this is double strike, so this can burn them for one. You can swing if the attack goes through, then they'll be down to one life. So there's so that's pretty cool that way. And then it has the active main. Um, well, which we can't use because you need the pan leader, but we mainly use him just so we can try to do the burn. And then, of course, he'll be a um, blocker that we can take a you know take advantage of. Um, but the double strike is also beneficial. This is a bad boy right here because this has a deflect barrier, so it's virtually untouchable, right? No gas ceiling trunks, no charismatic van Frieza. Right, and it has dual attacks. So it's twenty k. They can attack twice, so it can attack and then restand, and you can use it to block. Right, um, so it definitely works really good with this deck. Synergizes with it, being able to go on the offense and defense, and then has the auto uh, limit one. If this card is in rest mode, and you discard you discard one card from your hand when you use one of your red skillless battle cards in a combo, choose up to one of your opponents cards um and it gets uh plus 5k power for the turn um try to remember i think i saw there was a card effect that said you can combo and negate the card skill which will technically make it skillless which will actually allow you to trigger that effect but he's mainly here because he's a 20k saying that's you know a three drop which is is important in this deck that means you can recycle them, which is why we only have one copy so you can always recycle them if you need to play them over and over again um, but it's the fact that he'll be a barrier blocker that can attack twice, or at least attack and then restand himself. Oh yeah, that's what it was. He has the auto that he restands himself at the end of the turn, so you can attack with him twice, and then at the end of your turn he re uh, he switches to activate. So he has really great synergy with Boma because you can attack with him twice, so you get two attacks with him and then still be able to block because he'll be a barrier blocker. So that's really awesome. So he's really Really, really good in this deck, and then um, that's it. That's all he really, really does. So there's synergy with the Boma, and then this. Um, I, I don't know the ruling for it. I'm hoping it works the way I want it to work. Where this, you know, because he has the permit that this card cannot be killed. I I know he can be killed by card effects. I'm wondering if it if it also applies battle. I it probably doesn't, but. Hopefully, but I would ideally like it to include doesn't die by battle because once it becomes a blocker, then it's basically an unkillable blocker, right? Which would be pretty cool. And and then that's it. That's all. He's just a he's a blocker that can't be killed, right? So can be killed by you know border wipe effects, um, you know skills of of certain cards, and that, and that definitely comes in handy, especially if you're going up against a deck where like. Maybe the leader has the ability to KO a battle card every, you know, once per turn. Him having the ability to not be able to be KO'd, you know, will guarantee that he'll be there as a blocker. So this is one of those cheap blockers. And you notice it only costs one um, Z energy. He's a two drop. So at least as soon as turn two, 
sorry, at least it's turn two. You can get them onto the uh, field. There was a version of this Boma deck that did use skillless battle cards, so that's where the skillless part of this card effect. But I decided to take out the skillless cards. But if you use the skillless version, um, that skillless effect would have been useful. And then we have this rush attack Vegeta, which has, uh, you know, of course, the flag. They all have the flag. He'll be a block and once he hits the field. Auto, when this card attacks, use up to one of your, oh, that's what it was. Mono red card with 5k combo power from your drop in a combo with the, their skills negate. This was the effect I was thinking of. But then the skills negate, so that means they'll be skillless. So if you have this Goku in play, you play the Vegeta, you swing with the Vegeta, Vegeta will let you combo one of your battle cards in the drop, turn it into, you know, negating skills, so it turns into a skillless, which will trigger this card's auto. So there's synergy with these two. Um, that's what it was. And then additionally, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards or unisons and gets minus 15k power. So this could help you uh, potentially kill unison, right? or at least knock off a marker by minusing 15k from one of your opponent's 15k unisons. So this could be a unison killer if used right. And then has the active main once per turn. If you have four or more Z energy, switch this card to active mode and it gets 10k power, double strike, and barrier for the turn. So it'll be a 25k double strike barrier blocker for that turn. I wish it could make, keep the barriers. So that way it'd be a barrier blocker on my opponent's turn, right? But the fact that, you know, it does have um, the ability to uh, become a 20k swinging on your turn, you know, is always good. And that's the end of the video.